there is a lot of cows out as we are out in the country so you may hear cows Union Chapel Cemetery. Sorry about my voice. Um, I'm still trying to get better from the laryngitis. That's why my voice sounds like this. But as you can see, it's locked up. This is videoing on a new camera that I just got today. There is an above tombstone which is different right around here. This camera is definitely heavier than the uh, previous camera I have. Something came behind you, female. Heard it again. Same voice. Are you trying to get one of our attention? Yes. Which one? Make a noise if you try to get Joy's attention. Make a noise to try to get my attention. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. I heard you. So you were trying to get my attention? Okay, so when I asked the spirit 
two. It's evil spirit. See which one is getting whose attention, Joy or me. We heard a noise after I said, if you want to get my attention, make a noise. And so the spirit did. So the female spirit is trying to get my attention. And right as I soon as I heard that noise and knew that female spirit was trying to get my attention, the camcorder stopped recording automatically. So I had to switch to my phone in order to make a video for you all. 1881 to 1884. The best thing I could do for y'all to show you all this church is to look through the windows. So let me turn off the video light. Get the flashlight. That's inside the church. So, our main communication would be from the female spirit. And mainly what's my attention. And this is our first time here at this church and cemetery voice I heard it from is over here. So we're going to ask her a few questions. And see what kind of responses we could get. Okay, um, face the camera towards this way. I added more light. I'm going to just bring out two cat balls. Hopefully, you all can overhear the cows when the spirits are talking. All right, I got both on. All right, I got both cat balls on. Cat ball. Cat ball's going off. Already. Right there. Thank you. Yeah, the insects are crazy because we're out in the country.
Can you walk over to the right and touch the right cat ball, please? You already touched the left one. Thank you. You just did it. Look, Joey. Mm-hmm. Appreciate that. Is this the female spirit we're talking to? But as you see the camera, y'all, these gnats are crazy. But we still ended up getting some paranormal activity at the cemetery and church. You can see where the spirit walked from left to the right, our response. There's that female spirit. But however, that female spirit don't have that much energy now. I said it had to take a lot of energy to do that, to go from left to right. I'm gonna break out the spirit box. To a spare box session. S box. Scanning. FM. Scanning. AM. Oh shit, that almost scared me. But I was a moth that flew right past me. You're more than welcome anytime you want to walk over to the cat ball and light it up. That was me. But yeah, you like I said, you're more than welcome. Anytime you want, light up that cat ball. Who lit up the cat ball earlier? Can you let me know? Was it a female spirit that lit up the cat ball? You heard yes? Yeah. What's her name? Do you have any more energy to light up the cat ball for tonight? Or did you already used it up? You used it up all the way? Yes, that's what I kind of figured, because I had to take a lot of energy to go from left to right, am I correct? Can you walk over to the red light for us? We want to see if you can set off this red pod. You did the cat balls just great. Go back towards the red pod, please.
I understand that those two cat balls took a lot of energy out of you. We just want to see if you can at least line up to purple. If you can, that'll be great. If you can't, we totally understand. And we will respect that. You showed us that you were trying to at least go near the red pod. You just don't have enough energy built up to light up the color sets on the red pod. I know this is our first time, but that's probably why you were like saying, what the heck are these devices? I've never seen them before. So that's probably why you're nervous about using them. But however, like I said earlier, earlier you use the cat balls just fine. What may have happened, right, is that the left cat ball, it was mainly possibly in your walking path. And you set it off by walking past it or, you, you know what I'm saying, like, your energy spiked it to where it was, like, set off. And then now you're like, oh, okay, I can use this. And then all of a sudden, you know, when I asked if you could go to the right one to set that one off, you did that on response. And you're like, oh, that took a lot of, out, that took a lot of energy out of me. And now since that happened, you don't have that strong enough connection of that energy to use these other equipment that I just laid out like the red pod. We got a car coming by the main road. It was a pickup truck. Do you want us to come back again? To have energy built up? And then when we do get back, you already knew what these devices are and already have energy built up. And if you have a tad bit of energy, if you want us to come back, light up one of the cat balls, please. Mainly the le left one, since you light up that one first. And if you can't do that, just talk it to the camera, and I'll be able to hear you. Will you be ready for us to come back next time? We got some paranormal evidence for you all at the cemetery. Yep, of the cat balls. Yeah. We may have gotten a few light anomalies as well. And the female spirit was mainly talking with us. And I would say that the male spirit that was speaking through was helping the female spirit out, you know, because that took a lot of energy from her setting off those cat balls. So the male spirit could be her husband that was helping her out and everything. 
So this is a pretty cool investigation. But you would have thought, with it being like in the 50s, there won't be as much gnats around, you know? Yeah. So I was like, wow. But definitely will be a great return. And it's close to home. You can see the bell up there. Pretty much wraps up this investigation. Let me know what you all think down in the comment section below. Let's see this William J. and Mary E. Could those be the two who are communicating tonight? Possibly. We just got to replay the footage and check over it and found out the answers that we received here tonight. Yeah, there's the better view of the bell.